so Action Desk is kind of uh, aggregating all this data from different databases, from uh, different SaaS sources and stuff, putting it all together in one place, which saves you loads of time every week because you don't have to do that manually. And if it's saving you time, it's saving you money. To, am I getting it right? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. that's, that's, uh, that's exactly it. No code list. Hey, Net Citizens, this is Cody Blair with nocodelist.co. Thanks for joining us today. Um, with us today, we have Jonathan Pariso, who is the founder of actiondesk.io. Jonathan, thanks for coming today. Thank you, Cody, for having me. Glad to be here. Yeah, great. Well, can you just give us a like a 30 second, give us your best elevator pitch for what actiondesk.io is? Yeah, of course. Uh, so very simply, Action Desk is a data reporting and analysis tool. Um, it works just like Google Sheets and Excel, so it's a spreadsheet interface. And the particularity is that it can connect to close to 200 uh, SaaS and databases. Um, and thanks to those connections, you can build automated reports. So maybe I can give you one, one or two examples. Please. Uh, yeah, so if you're, if you're a sales team, for example, uh, you could connect Action Desk to your CRM, uh, whether it's HubSpot, Salesforce, Pipedrive, and so on, uh, and really track, you know, your leads, understanding how how much, uh, you know, how much MRR you're closing every month, every week, see your breakdown uh, per sales rep, uh, and so on. Uh, another example could be a marketing team. Um, in marketing data is scattered across a lot of tools. You have you know, all your ads platform, Facebook, Google, you have Google Analytics uh, and plenty of other tools. So you can connect all of these tools to Action Desk, um, gather the data in the same place and you know, really understand how your marketing campaigns are working uh, and really optimize it from there. Very good, very good, thank you. So uh, tell me a little bit about how did you get into the no-code space originally? How did that happen? Um, uh, I would say my first experience with no-code was with Excel, which I kind of consider as the uh, OG no-code tool. Um, so that was back when I was an intern. Uh, and as uh, I'm not a software engineer, I was not a trained software engineer. So um, I really loved uh, you know, how um, the power and the flexibility that a tool like Excel gives you. And you know, then when I use the Airtable, the type forms, the Zapier, and so on. I kind of uh, you know, felt the same, uh, the same power, the same flexibility for um, all of us non-software uh, non engineers. Very good. Um, let, me, let me take a little bit different direction here. I want to find out just a little bit about you. So we yeah. want to know that you're a human being. You're not a, a, a Superman or anything here. So uh, I'm not. Uh, all right. Well, tell us about <laughs> one of your epic fails. Sometime you just completely messed up. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you about my biggest professional failure. Um, so before I studied Action Desk, I was working uh, with a company called Jumia, which is the largest e-commerce platform in Africa. Um, they're listed on the New York Stock Exchange now. And I was managing, uh, so Jumia was across a dozen of countries in Africa. I was managing the company in Kenya. And part of that responsibility was to um, um, manage a warehouse where we would you know, store products and, and so on. And, um, you know, when I took over at the beginning, I, I knew we had a, an issue with security. Um, I knew there was a potential danger that we would get, you know, some of our product stolen. Uh, and we, we would store high, high value products like iPhones and other electronics, right? Um, and it's kind of something that I had, you know, in the back of my mind, but uh, I didn't do anything about it because uh, there were like lots of other pressing issues. Um, and, uh, we ended up having a huge, uh, you know, case of thefts, um, oh, we, no. we lost uh, a, a lot of money. Um, yep. I can't discuss how much, but I was, I was a lot, <laughs> uh, and yeah, that was, yeah. that was definitely not a good time for me. Oh uh, man. Yeah. I, I learned a few things. Um, <laughs> I guess you, you know, about the, uh, Eisenhower metrics, like this metrics where you see like important, non-important, urgent, not urgent. And right. 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 It was typically in the important but not urgent uh, because until it something happens it's not urgent right um and yeah it really taught me to make sure uh to tackle those important but not urgent um topics i believe you man that puts a new new uh 
emphasis on that particular quadrant, doesn't it? Probably also learned how to say, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yes. My God. Yeah, you have, when you screw up, you have to own it, right? So absolutely. I mean, absolutely. For myself, I was like, we screwed up. Hey, that's something I'm really good at because I screw up a lot. So uh, works, got to own it. So tell me about some of your, your guilty you pleasures. Um, I would say right now it's watching the NBA playoffs. Um, okay. I, I don't watch a lot of TV, uh, but uh, yeah, the, I, I'm a fan of basketball. And All I grew right. in, in France where uh, if you want to watch and the NBA, you have to wake up at 2 a.m. Um, in the morning. So uh, being able... <laughs> That's real that, commitment right there. It is. And I, I used to do that as a kid. As an, as an adult, you're, you you can't do that kind of stuff anymore without uh, being super tired for the next few days. Uh, so since, yeah, I've, I've been living in the U.S. for a few years and uh, it's pretty cool to be able to, to watch the games. Yeah, you're in That's New York, fact. right? Indeed. Yeah, so that makes it a lot easier to to watch at a reasonable hour. <laughs> yes, nowadays. exactly. All right. Well, uh, so you've been in the no-code space for a while now. Uh, you said Action Desk uh, has been around for about three years now. I'm sure you've yeah. gotten a chance to look at a lot of different no-code tools, and there's probably a lot of others that you use yourself. Any Any favorites out there? Anything you're really impressed with? Yes, for sure. So we use we use a lot of no code tools uh, at Action Desk. Um, first, I mean, I would say the classics. Um, you know, we, we use Airtable a lot. Um, we use Notion, uh, Webflow. Uh, if you if you check out our website, ActionDesk.io, it's uh, entirely built on Webflow. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think maybe one that might not be as popular or kind of up and coming, which we we actually trying out now. Uh, which which I think is pretty promising. It's called Arangu, and it's a it's more of a local tool um, dedicated to the sign up flow of uh, of a SaaS app. Um, and I think what's promising is the sign up flow is very is something that's very obviously very important because it's the first experience that you're going to provide to your customers. Uh -huh. um, and ideally, it's something you want to iterate on very fast and very often, right? Uh, sure. And obviously. Uh, anytime you need to go through the engineering team, uh, because there's obviously a lot of things to do on their end, um, you, you have some friction. So having something that can be controlled by the product team or uh, your marketing team is uh, for the sign of flow would be would be super promising. So very early to tell because we're just trying it out. But, uh, right. All right. Well, that's fun. Uh, so I'm sure that, uh, you know, and in talking to your customers as they deal with Action Desk, there, there are certain things that come up again and again, certain challenges that uh, they seem to have in common. Can you fill us in on a couple of those and, and maybe some good solutions you have for those? Um, yeah, I mean, so we're probably biased because we talk to customers who come to us, right? Uh, or either are using our product or considering using it. So, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, most of the problems that we see are, very linked, very related to, to the problem we're solving. Uh, and I think the main one that we see, which we're, we're solving at least to, to some extent is obviously, you know, over the past 10 years, 10, 15 years has been this huge growth of SaaS apps. And that you, have, you know, you have plenty of SaaS apps for every department, every vertical and so on. Mm -hmm. And that's great overall, but that really caused a problem where as a business, your data is, you know, scattered across so many tools. And if you just want to have like a global view of how your business is doing, uh, how your you know customer service department is doing, your sales is doing, your operation, and so on, it's uh, it's really challenging because you have to like go in each of those tools and and, and gather the the data, the data sorry, uh, which is typically a very manual process. So, yeah, that's that's a that's a big problem we see overall and. Um, we're solving kind of the reporting and that analysis part, but there's also like interconnection and, you know, you obviously have Zapier, which is solving some use cases with that, but not, not everything. Um, and yeah, generally, I think it's a very, uh, it, it's a, it's a big problem and probably like there's a lot of new solutions to be, uh, um, to be, to be thought of, uh, on, on that problem. So, um, as you think through your customers and maybe uh, different places where you've seen it, what are some like best use scenarios? What are what are some places where you've seen people do just amazing things with uh, with your product? Um, 
Wow, so many, uh, yeah, so, so many examples. Um, yeah, we have, I mean, I think, you know, whenever we see customers who, you know, talk to us and say, you know, we're uh, gathering this data coming from those 10 different tools uh, mm -hmm. and we actually have, you know, we're, we're wasting, you know, 10 hours of our time every week uh, doing that. And we can tell them, well, you know, use Action Desk and this 10 hours a week is going to uh, turn into half an hour. And that half an hour is very high value. It's typically like actually looking at the numbers and just really understanding what they mean, really understanding, you know, is it good, is it bad? What can I do to improve those numbers in order to intimately, uh, you know, grow revenue faster and, and improve uh, my business uh, and really get rid of that, you know, manual uh, process of extracting a CSV from here, a CSV from there, copy and pasting a number from, from another tool. Um, that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's always super, super rewarding. And generally I love tools that, you know, make you save time and especially time spent on stuff that's not fun, right? Um, right. That's, that's not where you, you don't feel like you're, you're achieving something. You don't feel like your, um, your, your, your skills are, are used to, to, to the, to, to yeah. the best of, uh, of their ability. Very good. So, so Action Desk is kind of uh, aggregating all this data from different databases, from uh, different SaaS sources and stuff, putting it all together in one place, which saves you loads of time every week because you don't have to do that manually. And if it's saving you time, it's saving you money. Did, am I getting it right? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. that's, that's, uh, that's exactly it. Um, and yeah, it's either our customers already do this reporting in a very manual uh, way and they save a lot of time or because they know it's going to take them time, they don't really do the reporting, but they know they're, they, they might be missing some important insights about their business sure. because of it. Um, so either we save time, either we provide insight that uh, those companies wouldn't have uh, otherwise. Very good. Do you see uh, most of your users are are small businesses large businesses does it range between both of those um yeah they're they're typically startups and smbs um and yeah typically between 10 employees for the smallest um uh, to 400 500 uh so we don't have huge companies as customers uh so really yes yeah, startups and, and, and smbs nice nice all right well um how, how do, if somebody was interested in this, how would they get started with you? Yeah, they, they can just, uh, you know, come on our website, actiondesk.io, uh, you know, sign up and the process usually is um, start by connecting your data sources. So let's say you're in marketing, you might be prompted to connect your Facebook ads and Google ads and Google Analytics. Uh, then you can start from one of our templates. We have over 50 templates that we've come up with after, you know, talking to so many, uh, so many startups and and uh, I know that companies um, or they can if you know exactly what you what you want to build uh, then you can start from scratch uh, and you have some documentation to help you and you know if you need to you can also schedule a call with us uh, so that you can help with the process so you got the documentation they can schedule a call with you do you have uh, you know a list of experts or is that something y'all just do in-house uh, yeah, we're not we're not quite there yet. Uh, right now, sure. if, if there is uh, if a customer needs help, we'll, we'll do it in house. Uh, uh -huh. But yeah, having having a list of um, you know consultants and experts like Airtable and, and Zapier and other tools may, may have is, is definitely something we'll, uh, we're we're looking at. Wow, that's fantastic. Well, I wish all the best of luck on that. Um, tell us like where where are you going next? What's what's next on the menu for you? Uh, you know, keep on growing every month. Uh, that's, you know, that's the first, uh, that's the first objective. Uh, and then it's really in terms of, uh, you know, product roadmap, it's, you know, continuing on what we're building. Uh, right now, you still have one of our big premises is if you already know how to use Google Sheet to Excel, uh, you'll, you'll be very comfort comfortable in Action Desk. Uh, obviously, Excel and Google Sheets have a lot of features. So we're not, you know, we're not that feature parity yet. Uh, and, you know, every day we have a customer, uh, you know, asking about a feature we don't have yet, like mm -hmm. you know, conditional formatting or, mm -hmm. you know, some very advanced option of a pivot table or something. Um, so yeah, one big part is bridging 
bridging that gap. Uh, a second part is just increasing our number of integrations because uh, again, that's a big part of the premise is, you know, whatever tool you use, you'll be able to connect it to Action Desk. Uh -huh. um, and the third thing is really around, you know, being able to share and, um, you know, show what you build in Action Desk with, with your team. Uh, so we just released a feature which is very exciting and all of our customers really love it, uh, where you can share a report that you've built on Action Desk or a Slack um, automatically. Uh, so you can have what we call them digests. Uh, so it could be, you know, every Monday morning having your, you know, revenue up to date or, you know, number of customers you acquired the week before or, you know, any metric you want to share with, uh, with your whole team. Wow. It sounds really powerful. It sounds like it's, uh, it's just a time saver, which is, is going to be huge. How long would you say it takes uh, a company to get up and running with Action Desk where it's just kind of a normal part of their workflow versus something they're still figuring out? Yeah, it's it's pretty fast, uh, especially thanks to to the templates I mentioned. Uh, I've mentioned so you can really you know um, if you're a sales team, you're gonna have a dozen of templates you can choose from. Uh, start from one, uh, and it might not be hundred percent of exactly what you need. Uh, so you might want to customize it after, but at least you start from something that you know maybe eighty um, percent the, the the way you want it. Um, so. Yeah, usually it's you know after thirty minutes an hour uh, of time spent on Action Desk, you already have something that's that's valuable for you. Very good. Um, so, if you could have any no code app, I mean, you could just say, "Hey, I want you to go design me this app." Uh, what would be mm -hmm. your your dream no code app uh, coming down the line that you would use all the time? Um, that's a good question. Um, I think there's still a long way to go uh, on the no-code space. Uh, mm -hmm. there's, there's been obviously a huge, uh, huge explosion, uh, but there's there's still so many things you can't do with with uh, no-code tools, right? Uh, I, I think one thing that comes to mind is um, like the having a like just like having a personal website. Like if you want to create a personal website and have like a CMS to, you know, write new blog articles or something like that, I still feel that hasn't been fully solved. That that's still not like a, a really you know easy process. I mean, I'm not even sure what I would use for for it. I think Webflow would probably be overkill. Uh, I think WordPress is. I don't want to use WordPress honestly. Uh, I, I like those. There there is a few tools who sit on top of Notion. Uh, mm -hmm. And we'll basically like build a website on top of you some Notion notes sure. that, that you choose. I, th I think that's pretty cool, uh, but that's still not a, a seamless process. That that's one thing that comes to mind. Another thing that comes to mind is not really no code, but it's just making uh, you know everything can't be done with no code, right? Because no code is obviously an abstraction on top of code. Uh, but making it easier and more accessible to code, I think, is something very very promising. Uh, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with Replit, um, but you can Replit is, is a tool that lets you code without having to do the whole setup on your laptop and without having to take care of deployments. And I think those okay. two things are actually a lot of friction to, to start to code. Um, yeah. because there's just doing the setup on your machine is going to take you, can take you half a day or a full day. And it's, it's really annoying. And if you're on your own, and you know, I'm not sure what you're doing. You're probably going to struggle a lot. Uh, so I think that's pretty cool. Making because coding is not that hard. Like if you if you spend a bit of time. Uh, so anything that makes it like a little bit easier by again abstracting some things, uh, I think is pretty promising. Nice. All right. Well, Jonathan Pariso, ActionDesk.io. You should go uh, check out his website and check out his product. Take a look at that. We really appreciate you joining us, uh, Jonathan, and uh, hope you have Thank a you great time, rest of your week. Yeah. Have a good one. Yeah. Thank you. You too. No code list.